What's up everybody, I'm Raphael and welcome to Network Engineer Pro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your images from Cisco Modeling Labs, AKA CML, and get them up and running in EVNG. EVNG, if you didn't know, does not come with pre-built Cisco images. You have to get them on your own. If you're a Cisco partner or employee, you may get access to download them. You can probably find them online if you do a Google search, but it's kind of a gray area. If you want to legally obtain the images, one way is to buy Cisco Modeling Labs. Buying that CML product is going to give you access to the images. I purchased CML. I used it for a bit, but I still like EVNG better. The great thing is, is that I can take those CML images and get them up and running in Eve and start building network topologies right away. Let's get started. All right, so I'm logged into my Eve NG virtual machine. The first thing I want to do is click add a new lab. I'm going to go ahead and name it something simple. I'm just going to call it test and I'm going to hit save. As soon as you hit save, it's going to bring you into your lab and this is your topology window. And since this is a brand new lab, it's completely empty. Let me try and add an image like a router or a switch. To do that, I'm gonna right click and here it says add a new object, I'm gonna click node. And here I have all the different vendors listed that I talked about in the last video. You have Cisco, Hawaii, Juniper, all kinds of things. Here, if I wanna add a iOS V router, you can see here that the text for it is grayed out and I have a little red circle with a red slash through it. I'm not able to select this. I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. What if I wanna add an iOS V switch? The same thing. What about an ASA? If I wanna add an ASA V, I'm, again, I'm clicking it, it's grayed out, and there's a red circle with a slash through it. I can't click these and select them because I have not added the images to Eve yet. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna purchase the CML product or the CML license. This is gonna give you access for the platform to build the CML server and the file that contains all of the Cisco images you need. So the latest version of CML as of the recording of this video is gonna be 2.1. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click CML personal 2.1. So you can see there's four files here. The file that we care about is gonna be this reference platform ISO or as you can see, they abbreviated in the file name refplat. This is going to be the ISO file that contains all of the images for the different Cisco platforms. So your ASAV, your iOSV router and switch and whatnot. And this is also the only file that's gigantic. It's almost seven gigs in size. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. To download this file, you're just gonna click the little download button. You're gonna accept the license agreement and the download process is gonna start. And this is gonna take a few minutes. Again, you will not have access to download these images unless you've purchased the CML license. All right, so the RefPlat image has finished downloading and I was running out of space on my main C drive. So after I downloaded it, I went ahead and moved it over to another hard drive. I made a directory just for it. And what you wanna do is this ISO here, to see the contents of it, all you have to do thanks to Windows is just double click it. And with Windows, I can see the contents of the ISO. And you have two folders here. You have node definitions and viral based images. The images are located in the viral based images folder. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Here are all of the images available to me. What I wanna do, I wanna highlight all of these images right click, copy, and I want to paste them in a folder I made just for EVNG Cisco images. So let me paste these. Now that the EVNG images have been pulled from the ISO and placed into their own separate folder, what we need to do is get these images into Eve. So to do that, we need something like WinSCP or maybe FileZilla. I have FileZilla, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now that I have FileZilla open and I've pointed it to the directory where I've placed all of the images, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and log into my EVM from FileZilla. I already know my host IP for my EVM is 192.168.1.94. Username is root and the password by default is Eve. And I'm gonna log in with port 22. Now, this login is different from the front end GUI facing login. You, what we're doing now is we're actually SSHing into the EVNG VM. Now it's gonna tell you the server's host key is unknown. Do you wanna trust this anyway? Yes, I do. Now, once you log in with FileZilla or WinSCP or whatever, 
program you choose, it's going to take you to this default directory. Now, this is not the directory we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back one and the directory that we do care about is opt unit lab add ons and QEMU or Kimu. Now that we're in the right directory, I'm ready to copy over the images from my local machine to my even G VM. The two images I want to work with today are going to be the iOS VL2. This is the layer two switch and the iOS V dash 159 dash three. This is going to be my router. So I'm going to go ahead and drag over the layer two switch folder. I'm also going to drag over the router folder. And you can see there's a little progress bar down here that lets you know once the transfer is complete. Now that the transfer is complete, you'd think we'd be done, right? We transferred over the images. We should be able to go into Eve and start building topologies. No, we are not done. We're like halfway done. There's some very important things that I need to mention here. You see this folder name iOSV-159-3 and the layer two folder name of iOSVL2-2019. And if I go into the folder, the image name has a very long name, VIOS, Advanced Enterprise, whatever. And the same thing for the layer two switch. When you are inside the Eve GUI and you are selecting an image to use or a node to use in your topology, what Eve is doing, it's expecting a very specific folder name and a very specific image name. If the folder name and or the image name doesn't match with what Eve is expecting, it's not going to work. So thankfully, EVNG has very good documentation about what the folder name and what the image names are supposed to be. So to see that information from the EVNG.net homepage, we can hit documentation. I can go over here to Kimu image namings. So if I scroll down here, I can see all of the vendors that EVNG supports, what the folder name is supposed to be, and what the image name is supposed to be. So what you want to do when you're uploading images to Eve is you want to make sure that you find the vendor that you're working with. In my case, I'm using iOS V and iOS V layer two. So the layer three virtual iOS Cisco router and the layer two virtual iOS Cisco switch. I can see that the folder name needs to begin with at least the iOS dash after the dash. I can put whatever I want. The image name needs to be vert ioa and that's the same case with our layer 2 switch the folder name must begin with vios l2 dash and the image name must be vert ioa let's go back to filezilla and make sure that the folder names and the image names are configured to match with what evng requires so if i look at my router image folder it's ios v-159-3 does that match with what eve expects for that router image no my folder name needs to begin with at least vios dash let me go ahead and fix that i can right click here and just hit rename so i'm going to change it to vios there's already a dash there and i can hit enter so now my router begins with what Eve expects, VIOS dash. And then after the dash, you can put the image name or whatever you want. Let me go into this folder. What about the image name? Does my image name match with what they're expecting? It definitely does not. So let me right click this, rename it. And what is Eve expecting? Eve is expecting vert IOA dot QCAL2. So vert IOA dot QCAL2 to make sure you put QCAL2, not just QCAL. And then I'm gonna hit enter. I don't need this YAML file, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Let me go back. Now let's do the same thing for the switch. So for my iOS VL2, my folder needs to begin with the iOS L2. So you can see that on the image names from the Cisco website, they have iOS V, but Eve expects V iOS. So I'm gonna right click the folder name, rename, and I'm gonna put the iOS L2 dash and then again after the dash you can put whatever you want i'm going to go into the folder and double check the image name does the image name match with what eve expects it does not let's rename it to vert ioa dot qcal2 i don't need the yaml file i'm going to go ahead and delete it great so at this point the folder names and the image names match exactly with the eve ng table here now the very very last step is to SSH from a terminal emulator like PuTTY or Secure CRT and do what's called fixing the permissions. Let me show you how to do that. So with Secure CRT open, I'm going to connect to 192.168.1.94. That is my EVM's IP address. The username is root and the default password is Eve. I am now SSH as root into my EVNG VM. So what do I need to do to fix the permissions? 
Well, let's go back to the documentation. Let's scroll up and let's go to how to's. What we want to find are specific instructions for viral. Remember, CML used to be called viral. So you can see here Cisco VIOS from viral. Here you're going to have instructions on what to do to get it uploaded into Eve. But what we're interested in here is this last step 2.5 fix permissions. Let's copy this here. I'm going to paste the command to fix the permissions. And as long as I don't get any errors or anything, we should be good to go. Perfect. I didn't get any sort of errors or anything like that. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to Eve and I want to try to add an image. I'm going to scroll down and you can see right away that this is a good sign because the Cisco VIOS router and VIOS switch, these are not gray anymore. They're actually blue. So let's click the router. And here's going to give you how many nodes you want to add. You can name them if you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I now have a router on my topology. Let me add a switch. Cisco VIOS switch. Let me go ahead and click save. If you wanted to add CPU or memory or how many ethernet ports you could. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to connect the two together. Choose what interface you want for each node. I'm fine with gig zero zero. And then to start them, what you do is you select them and you right click and say start selected. They should turn blue. Perfect. They turned blue. Let's go ahead and double click on them and it's automatically going to open secure CRT. This is a really good sign. I can already see the process of the router booting. Same thing with the switch. Great. Now that the router's booted, I can log in, skip the initial configuration dialog and do whatever I want. Same thing with the switch. And that's all there is to it. We have successfully added virtual iOS router and switches from CML into Eve. Okay, so we are up and running in Eve with our router and switch images. Just to recap, I downloaded the CML ISO file from Cisco's website. That ISO file contained all of the images that I wanted. I then used FileZilla to SSH into my EVM and copy those images over. I made sure to name the folder and the actual image to match Eve's requirements, which was clearly documented on their website. Lastly, I SSH to Eve from my terminal emulator and fixed the permissions. I then tested the images in my lab and everything worked great. Now, the process that I follow today is pretty much going to be the same process for Cisco ASAs and many other types of images, but be sure to check the documentation in case anything has changed. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something. I hope that it helped you get your Eve environment up and running as well. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can follow me on Facebook at Network Engineer Pro. If there's any questions, please let me know. Thanks everyone and have an awesome day.